So today we're talking about the Micro Epsilon laser scanner and uh, its software. This is a smart device. The software resides inside the head and what we do is we lay a line down and then we can actually do measurements on that line. It can be point measurements from here to here. It can be dip, it can be depths, it can be areas, it can be a lot of different things. So this is what we're talking about. Let's go to the software which resides inside the head. And uh, what I'm going to do here is go to my program selector. I've got a bunch of different programs that I can put together. And then once I put this program together, I can combine the results. And then I can also, then once I combine the results, I set those cells to specific outputs. So uh, let's go in and take a look at my, um, my first piece. This is called uh, the maximum position. And again, I've chosen my maximum point as my program and that's uh, something here if I do extrema I get maximum point or I can do you know angle and do absolute angles and all that but in this case I have maximum point I've got a region of interest up here um, I've got some zoom tools here that show you how to zoom in um, I can actually zoom right into these points and get a uh, get a closer closer feel um, <clears throat> here's um, Here's where I'm going to do uh, points out of the region of interest. So let me go to my region of interest. I'm going to turn this off, turn this off here. Okay, let me turn this off. So we're stopped. I'm going to go ahead and get my region of interest is right here. Okay. And I'm going to put my region of interest here. And I'm going to run. That's giving me my maximum point. Okay. I'm going to move this guy over just a shade. Okay. So let's zoom out to full screen here. And we're running, and this is our maximum point. Now, let me go back to the second gap, and what I'm doing here is I've just got this gap, and I've got another region of interest. But in this case, I'm going to do my region of interest. I can turn on and off the anchor, dynamic active tracking. So when I don't turn this on, what happens is I'm just getting my, my two points, and it's, this box is not moving. When I stop and I do turn this on, and say, hey, I track something, my region of interest, I'm going to take the maximum point from program one and make that my anchor. Now you see we got these lines in here. I go ahead and run this thing, and my box is now tracking to that maximum point. So you've got your start and your end, okay? They're two different pieces. So once we've done this, I'm going to do a results. I'm going to go to results combination. And uh, I'm going to, you know, I can add results or... Here I'm going to say, you know, the x height, the x, the, the, the y width, or I can do this one, which is the point to point, my direct. This is center point. So if I click on here, if I click here, it's going to do center point. If I click over here, it's going to do distance. And I want my start point versus my end point in program two. And my distance is that purple line right there. And so once I've done that, I go back here and I go to my output results. And you can see that. I'm going to go to signal one and say, what do I want signal one to be tied to? I want to be tied to the combination, you know, and I can put a min and max. Let's call this 4.5, and this is going to be 5. So what's going to happen here, it's going to be, it's going to be red, and that's a pretty, pretty tight piece. So I'll make this um, 3 to 6. Okay, so it's going to stay green while it's in that range, and then it's going to go red when it's out. And I can send a digital output that says, hey, pass fail on this guy. Or I can go to my UDP, which is my communications, and send out Ethernet IP or digital or serial string, that type of thing. So this is a way for you to track a part, um, set up a region, do a results combination, and then uh, actually set an output. Um, for more, please contact Micro Epsilon.